Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and this is the channel where we explain it so you don't have to. The second Spider-Man Far From Home trailer has just dropped and it contains a hell of a lot of new information in the wake of Avengers Endgame. Throughout this video I'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about the trailer as well as my theory on how the movie will introduce the Spider-Verse into the MCU. Though the spoiler van has officially lifted on Avengers Endgame, that doesn't mean I won't be given a huge spoiler alert on the movie, so if you haven't seen the latest MCU release and don't want anything ruined then I highly suggest that you turn off now. With that out of the way, I hope you enjoy the video, now sit back, relax and let's get into my trailer breakdown of Spider-Man Far From Home. Okay, so the biggest thing to take from the trailer is that this is a post-snap MCU. Peter Parker and the rest of his class have been part of The Vanished for the past five years and only managed to return due to the actions of Tony Stark, who unfortunately died at the end of Endgame. This definitely hangs heavily over Peter's head, who seems to be questioning his life as your local webhead after losing his mentor. He's sort of the new Iron Man, even going so far to wear the Iron Spider suit and being appointed by Happy as the rightful successor. However, it's clear from this trailer that Peter doesn't really seem ready for it and is ignoring Nick Fury's calls, hoping that he doesn't have to deal with the trouble that comes with it. Of course, we know from the prior trailer and this one that Fury catches him eventually, but it shows that Peter may not be ready for this new responsibility that comes with his great power. See what I did there? In the trailer, we see him team up with Mysterio, who we learn is from another universe and they have to work together as one. Maria Hill is also back in S.H.I.E.L.D. and we see as the elementals ravage the landscape as Peter tries to shirk the weight on his shoulders. Mysterio seems like the new hero, however we know from various leaks that the elementals are probably just an illusion that he has created in order to gain some fame and fortune. I wouldn't even be surprised if he's lying about the multiverse and is just using this to seem more mysterious. However, I'll delve into the theory later as if it's fully confirmed. Mary Jane too knows that Peter is Spider-Man, which is pretty funny. To me, Marvel is clearly setting Spider-Man up as the next Iron Man, and it will be interesting to see if Peter actually accepts this role or not. Okay, so the biggest theory that has come true from speculation is that Mysterio is actually from the multiverse. In both Doctor Strange and Endgame, the Marvel heroes were given several warnings about messing with time travel, and Mysterio is clearly a repercussion of this. S.H.I.E.L.D. is still fractured and this is why Nick Fury has brought the character into the fold. However, as we know, Mysterio is a big villain and whilst he initially is seen as an ally, he could be using Prime Timeline as a way to infiltrate the government as they will be unaware of his past. This is a clean slate for the character and I could definitely see him using this new perception to his advantage. The fact that he is from another timeline also ties into the title Far From Home, which is not only a reference to Spider-Man travelling through Europe, but also Mysterio being in another dimension. There have also been several rumours that in addition to Mysterio being out of his own dimension, by the end of the film the web slinger will find himself in an altered timeline. This would open up the opportunity for Sony to do a live action Spider-Verse film with a movie that brings in Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield who has said that he would definitely be willing to return to the character. For those who don't know, the contract that Sony have with Marvel ends after this film so they are no longer obligated to connect Tom Holland's Spider-Man to the MCU and can use this to go off into their own direction. This would allow the studio to not only bring him into the Spider-Verse franchise but also into the other films that Sony are producing based on the character such as Venom and Mobius. Obviously we will all see when the film is finally released in July but till then I'd love to hear your thoughts on the movie and if there's anything that I missed or that you think will happen. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then make sure you check out my full Avengers playlist which breaks down and answers all of the big questions that you may have around the film which will be linked at the end. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes so if that's the kind of thing you like hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.